Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie if you are new here and in today's video I am going to be doing a mostly full face of high-end makeup. I did the drugstore counterpart recently. I will have that linked up in the eye and down below for you guys. So in today's video, I want to gather up as many high-end products as I can from my collection and do a full face using them. So if you guys want to hang out, see me do a full face of high-end makeup, then just keep on watching. Okay, I got lucky with the first one with the primer because it's literally my everyday primer, but I'm going to be using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime my lids. And then for my palette, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 4 palette today. I don't know why, this one was just the one that was speaking to me. However, in very unsurprising news, I'm not going to be doing anything crazy today. I'm going to start out with a big fluffy brush. I'm going to go into the shade D1 and use that as a little bit of a transition. And by transition, I guess I mean accidentally cover most of my lids. We're doing great today. Next up, I'm going to take a slightly smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the shade B3 and start building that up in my crease. And then last but not least for the mattes, I'm going to take a small blending brush and I'm going to go into the shade D5 and put that on my outer corner. I've just been really loving neutrals lately. I don't know what to say. I think years and years and years of doing really colorful makeup looks for content and I've finally like, I've finally like mostly swung back in the other direction and now I'm like, just, just give me neutrals. Just give me like a nice brown eyeshadow look which really just makes for great content right like 10 out of 10 all of my makeup looks look different and then last but not least i'm gonna take my finger and i'm gonna go into the shade right here a5 and press that on the open space on my lids the funny thing is is i did actually have like a colorful look planned for today but when i looked back at it i was like that's way too summery for november so i'm not gonna be doing that i'm gonna go put on a little bit of liner, which is definitely not high-end because I would never pay high-end for a liquid liner when there's drugstore ones that I love so much. I'm also gonna do my base off of camera, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use because it is gonna be high-end. So, for primer, I'm gonna be using the Nabla Angel Aura Radiant Primer Serum. I'm also gonna use a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a superstar youth glow underneath my eyes. For foundation, I'm going to use the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie, and then for concealer, the Tarte Shave Tape Ultra Creamy. It is the only high-end concealer that I have. So I'm going to go do all of that off camera, and I will be right back. I will throw out there that typically I would not use that primer on a retinol morning because I'm feeling a little too hydrated. Like, I'm going to have to definitely, like, really set down my face today. So for cream bronzer, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. And then for cream blush, no surprise here whatsoever, I'm going to use the LYS Higher Standards Satin Matte Cream Blush in the shade Kindness really have these go on like Black Friday sale. I'd love to pick up some more shades. All right, so when it comes to powder, honestly all cheek products, but when it comes to powder cheek products, I don't have a ton of high-end makeup. I don't have a ton of just high-end makeup in general aside from palettes, but for my powder blush, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Cloud Crush blush in the shade Golden Hour. This one's very pigmented, so I have to be very careful with how much I apply. And then for powder bronzer, literally the, no, that's a lie. I have one other powder bronzer, but it does, it's not my favorite. Powder bronzer, I'm gonna use the Lorac Tantastic, or Tantalizer bronzing powder in Pool Party. The other one that I have is the Nabla one, which I do like. I just like, I have to apply it with a powder puff. I can't apply it with a brush because it's super thin and sheer. So it like doesn't do much when you put a brush into it. Okay, and then one thing I absolutely do not have any drugstore of would be setting powders. So I'm just gonna go set down the rest of my face off of camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I obviously did my under eyes too. I just 
took a couple of the colors and just kind of smudged them there. Next up, I'm going to use the Nabla Skin Glazing. This is technically a highlight, but I use it as a blush topper in truth as a blush topper. And I chose not to use any of my like regular like glowy powders on like my forehead and shit like that because I just know that throughout the day my face is probably going to get a little shinier because I have a lot of moisturizing stuff going on underneath this powder. And then for highlight, I'm going to break out an old favorite. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Glow Kit. And I'm going to use the shade Glow Getter. Highlight is actually one of the things that I have the most, aside from palettes, highlight is the one that I have like the most variety of when it comes to like price ranges for some reason. But I think a lot of that comes to from like I, you don't use a ton of highlight so they last a really long time and so there was obviously that phase where highlight was really really big so I just have like a ton of them. And I'm more willing to spend the money on something that's going to last me a really long time, like a highlight or a blush or a palette, as opposed to like spending the money on like an eyeliner. Because like you go through those so quickly that I just like I can't justify spending drugstore prices on them. Same with lipsticks too. I have like a 50-50 split on those. Like I have a decent amount of high-end ones and I also have a decent amount of drugstore ones. A lot of my high-end lipsticks though are, or like lip products in general, are all like travel size and like minis. So they end up being like drugstore pricing. Nothing else aside from lip product is drugstore that I own. So I'm gonna go do all of that off of camera and I will be right back. So this is the final look for my lips. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk and yeah. What did I learn from this video today? That, um, in my personal opinion, it doesn't matter if a product is high-end or drugstore. A good product is a good product, and you can find a ton of amazingly good products at the drugstore and still end up with the same result because like well yes obviously my face is set down with drugstore products but like the vast majority of my makeup is still high-end and my makeup looks just as good when I use drugstore products so like it's not you know what I'm saying I'm feeling very burnt out today if I'm being completely honest with you I should film another video after this but I really just don't want to so I'm not going to I am gonna wrap up today's video and go lay down for a little while because that feels nice Comment down below and let me know if you prefer high-end or drugstore makeup. I would love to know. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. La, la, la.